Hey everybody, it's time for some important characters from Lesson 9, Dialogue 1. I'm just going to split these into two parts, so this is Part 1 of Lesson 9, Dialogue 1. And let's take a look at what important characters I have laid out here. Alright, here they are. Bring these up a little bit bigger. We're going to go through these one by one, but we have Mai, Dong Xi, Yi Fu, Jian. It has a nice little measure word. Huang Se, Hong Se, Chuan, and Pian Yi. Also, for a review, we're going to talk about Wa, Yao, Yi, and De. All very important, uh, important words to know how to write, know how to read. Uh, so, let me show you how to write some of these. Switch over to the pencil here. And uh, first up is Mai. Mai Dong Xi. You can buy what? Mai. Mai a lot of things. You can buy a lot of money. Pretty simple, uh, top to bottom, uh, for the most part. Um, not necessarily a perfectly looking character, but, um, uh, you know, uh, we'll make do. Um, all right, uh, let's talk about uh, Dong Xi then. Dong Xi is our second character here. And uh, I'll clear the stage a little bit. Dong Xi just means uh, east west, so together it means things. Uh, it's uh, kind of a nice character to write. Uh, oops, let me switch back to the pencil. And um, first char first stroke is a hung, it's a horizontal line. This next one's a little bit tricky. Um, and finish it off just by making your xiao underneath. Xi dong xi the xi be written like this. A lot of times when uh, people write the xi faster, um, it does kind of become just straight lines going down uh, vertically like that. Yi fu, yeah, can buy yi fu. You know, 穿什么呀？穿什么颜色的衣服？衣服 just means clothes, clothing. Fu, written like this. Got the moon radical there. Okay, I cross a little bit here. That shouldn't necessarily happen. Um, try that one more time here for you. A little bit better, uh, but you get the idea. Uh, this could be maybe a little bit uh, sharper. Uh, go on there, a little hook. It'll make it look a little nicer. After that, we have Jin. Jin's a nice uh, measure word um, for clothing. And Jin looks a lot like this. Have a nice Renzi Pong. Not too hard to write. Okay. We have a couple of colors. Huang Se and Hong Se. You like Huang Se? You like Hong Se? You like the color of the color? Is it Huang Se? Is it Hong Se? You notice that when I wrote the Hong, I kind of didn't pick up my pen, but you can certainly pick up your pen uh, to write that, uh, that radical for Hong. A lot of times when you get to writing fast, though, you, you'll find people don't necessarily pick that up. Okay. Next up, we have, let me clear the stage here, Chuan. Uh, Chuan is a, well, it's a tricky character for me to get looking good, so uh, bear with me here. Um, Chuan just means to wear clothes, uh, things that you wear, things you'd uh, uh, put on. So Chuan, here's the tricky part of Chuan, is this stroke here. Uh, it's a little different than most. Chuan. That a little bit faster. Try and miss it up. So this is uh, a little bit large. If I had to critique this character, this is a little bit large compared to this. So uh, work on balance for myself there. Um, and then finally, let's talk about Pian Yi. 
for these. Uh, finally, for the new ones that we have, uh, he is a nicely shaped character. And pretty easy, I think, to get well and balanced. Okay. As far as review goes, you want to write uh, for our Tingxia. Uh, you want to make sure you can write Wa. Yao. And that top part of Yao should look familiar to you. E. E is if anything too hard. And then the. Y'all important. The. You notice sometimes when people write the, they will combine this stroke into one. This one here just becomes that. How? Joanna, Jo Jimmy uh, so you'll want to write these over and over and over again until you can write them from memory. Um, and uh, maybe redo this yaw so you can see what a uh, better yaw looks like in here. Maybe a little more balanced yaw. Kind of getting tall. Um, in any case, uh, practice those. Make them look better than mine. Uh, that'd be great. And uh, we'll see you in class. Sajan.